My name's Guy from East Devon Sports Therapy in Axminster, Devon. We deal with a, a wide range of therapies for stroke rehabilitation, sports injuries, arthritis, helping people walk and move more efficiently. So we want to be able to see how people are as they're in, in motion. And the digital foot scan allows us to see that. It allows us to see the timing, how the patient's moving, the symmetry between their two feet. We can look at different dysfunctions, if a, a pelvic dysfunction, the speed of the foot, and how the whole body's working together. Say we may have a patient come in that's not necessarily a foot injury, so we may have a shoulder injury come in, and we would still use the foot scan initially for an evaluation to, to diagnose any dysfunctions that's occurring. So the foot scan could potentially show pelvic dysfunction, which could affect the, the posterior sling going up the, the back of the, the body, the patient, and affecting the shoulder. So the foot scan would allow us to see that and then explain it more visually so the patient can understand it better. Before and after is really important for the patient. It's a really good visual. So when they first come in, we can show them the analysis, show them what's, what the issue is go through the treatment and then afterwards if we rescan them on the same day they can see that big impact that the treatments had on them so it gives the trust in the patient to us that we know what we're doing and then moving down the line they can see the improvement over several weeks know that their exercises are working uh, and know that the rehab is actually the correct thing for them to be doing if the patient needs an orthotic we would take them through the analysis, show them why they would need an orthotic or, or why they would benefit from one. And we would break it down into to segments to, to let them know that the orthotic, so the fits insole, can be broken down into to different pressure points on their foot. And then the stiffness through the insole can be isolated so that the foot's directed into a, a better center of pressure, which would improve their gait and their mobility of how they're walking. So the foot scan is just one tool that we use, but obviously it complements everything else that we do, from our hands-on therapy to the Alter G, the anti-gravity treadmill, and the rehabilitation exercises that we would give to people. So knowing what's occurring underneath the foot is really important. Obviously visually, we can look at somebody with a, a video camera, and that tells us what the posture is doing, but it doesn't tell us what forces or what pressures are being applied underneath the foot. So the fact that we've got this tool to be able to see that allows our rehab and treatments to be a lot more specific to that person. Other therapists should be using the, the foot scan system just because of the analysis side of things that it can show. Anything from, from squats or lunging technique to, to gait, walking or running. And again, shoulder instabilities, looking at press ups. So for a PT or a physical therapist, it's going to be really useful for them to, to use for their benefit and for the patient's benefit.